I heard you were the one that, that took off Drake's beard. What's going on everybody? It's the Fun Bros. We're in Williamsburg, Brooklyn right now and welcome to another episode of the, the AZM Barbershop. So we've been talking about haircuts and hairstyles for a few years now, but as you can see, social media has taken the barbering industry to a whole new level. With that being said, you know we had to check out the grand opening of Filthy Rich Brooklyn, which is Rich the Barber's second shop. So we're gonna go inside, talk to Rich the Barber and his team about the barbering industry and where it's at right now. And trust me guys, if you are into haircuts at all, I think you're really gonna like this video. Let's go. What's up, man? My name is Victor. I'm Filthy Ridge Barbershop. Come get a cut, man. we legit. One thing I noticed is that you got the James Harden. Got Dude, you got the beard. What is the three tips about upkeep? Don't touch it until it's long enough. You want to trim the sides, keep it downstairs just like hairy as possible, man. Definitely got to commit with the beard, man. It's like a relationship. Don't give up, yeah. you know? You kind of messing up the game right now for everybody else who can't grow for you. We can't roll out together. This is why we're, <laughs> we're here with Kaz. Uh, one of the top barbers here at Filthy Rich. Filthy Rich is majority female barbers that cut male hairstyles. I'm very confident in my work, in myself. People doubt all the time. They're like, oh, you wanna practice on me? You're a girl, like, how long you been cutting? Like, sizing me down? My attitude is like, all right, well, let's do this. Let me show you what I got. Kaz, we gotta ask of you. Yes. Can you help one of our producers, Ryan, out? Yeah. Yeah, check out this man. <laughs> uh, can you help our furry friend out right here? Steph Furry, Ryan the Hamster. I don't know. <laughs> hey, we call that Kumon. Don't worry, Ryan. I got you. I'm gonna hook you up, all right? Is this your first time at an actual barbershop? Yeah, that's true. Always my mom cuts my hair, so <laughs> it's kind of crazy. The thing I'm doing is uh, taking the weight off the side of the hair, get all this bulk off. I'm a cosmetologist, so I don't go to barber school. So I know barber school, they teach you how to fade from bottom to top. So I do it completely backwards. There's like two haircuts going on at once. There's like this one and then there's this one that's right here. Kaz, what do you think about giving like little kids haircuts that are like four years old and they're getting like the straight blade and the lineup and stuff like that? I hate it. I feel like I feel like barbers will just do what the mom says. I feel like as a mother, they need to be a little bit more educated on to why they shouldn't do that. It just messes up the, the skin, you know, the follicle. Their skin, their hair, everything. Their brains are not even developed yet. Their head shape is not even completely developed yet. <laughs> so now you want to start altering it. I mean, I don't even like doing skin fades on kids. You said you don't want your kid to be 16 years old. With your hairline all the way in the back of your head. Whoa. I told you the female barbers are nice. I told you. All right, man, everybody's getting cuts and lineups, and now I'm gonna get cut by Vic. Take a little nap, wake up fresh. Came to Filthy Rich, left feeling like a million bucks. All right, Rich, we are here inside Filthy Rich Brooklyn, your second location. Man, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm getting there. What? <laughs> Whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Andrew is gonna cut My Rich the Barber's yeah. hair. I need a haircut Thank real you, badly. Rich. I've seen your work. I think this guy's amazing, and I think you could uh, hook me up. The honor has been bestowed upon me yes. to, to clean you up. Yes. So let me just do a little warm up first, go just ahead. to Stretch it out. You know, get the jitters out, and then uh, <laughs> go ahead and hop in the chair. He's nervous. You gotta protect. I don't wanna feel itchy. Protect your neck. I'm gonna be cleaning up his taper. I'm gonna go from a uh, skin up to a 
I'm just gonna clean it up right. and see what I can do. Yeah. Is being an IG barber a legitimate way to get noticed? It, it is a uh, very, you gotta make sure you take good pictures. I like iPhone camera pictures or Android camera pictures. I don't like the DSLR. Yeah, no, because it's, I feel like you, you're cheating mm. a little bit. Yeah, he's coughing and look at his face. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, the camera's playing. You look a little swaggier. <laughs> no, it's too much. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't act like that. <laughs> Tip number one, don't yeah, act man, like man. that. <laughs> don't. Rich, I gotta ask you this question, man. I heard you were the one that, that took off Drake's beard. Yeah, I got a midnight phone call by a good friend. He's from Canada, from Toronto, and uh, he just hit me up. Well, first I said, any last words? And he laughed. I took it halfway off. He started staring at himself like, what the heck? Is I, what am I doing? I feel like a kid again. I said, that's the face you actually started. And True. he was just like, you're, you're right. You're right. I said, damn, I'm taking your, cool with some, your coolness away. <laughs> that was like a wheelchair gym. Yeah. That, yeah. that was, that was the, the beard he killed me with. Touch. Love it and you gotta get a world tour. Is that a world tour on your girl's tour? In the game, you gotta show love all the time. I just wanna make you look good. I want, to, I want to make sure my clients look good for their special day, like your special day. Rich, how did Andrew do? Amazing. I like right. that. <laughs> Wanted to make sure I got the shape down. I mean, it's obviously, my favorite you, cut. You have a, Thank but you. Uh, it was an honor, man. No, it was an honor. So uh, that's going to be, what, uh, 40, 40 bucks? <laughs> yeah, I got so inspired when I saw Andrew cutting here at Filthy Rich. I got to get Lee. I got to get a shape up. Edge up, line up. If that's what you want, that's yes. what you get, you're gonna get it. Yo, Lee! I gotta tell you, I cut David's hair a few days ago. What do you think about it? I think it looks great. Sure, you're not just saying that because I'm here? Nah, I would tell you, I'm pretty real. Thank you. Oh, Lee, I don't know. Man, you, you made me feel like my hair grew back. Yo, you, you, I don't know if you do that. Yo, no, Lee, thank you so much. This was dope. Definitely come see Lee at Filthy Rich. Yo, Rich, thank you so much for inviting us, man. I, I didn't even know I was going to get fresh today, but man, I, could, I couldn't help it. I walked into Filthy Rich. Walk in Filthy and look like Rich. <laughs> but yo, guys, thank you, man. I appreciate you guys coming all the way to Brooklyn to visit my shop. Thank you for inviting us on the grand opening of your new shop. Yes and to talk to you about the barbering industry yep. and uh, let me cut your hair. That was such an honor, so thank real you very talk, much. Real cut, yep. thank you for cutting my hair. <laughs> oh, this is actually our last video that we're filming in New for York. For one year, you became a real New Yorker. Yeah. Thank you, yeah, thank yeah, you, man. It means a lot, and yeah. uh, it means a lot to just have done videos with you and everybody else in New York. So in the comments below, number one, let us know what your favorite hairstyle is right now. And number two, Give a shout out to your barber if you have one, even if it's your mom or your dad. <laughs> and number three, let us know what are the other elements that help you feel fresh. Exactly. Thank you for watching that video, and until next time, we out. Peace. Peace. All right, everybody, thanks for watching that video, man. It's so cool to be out in uh, Williamsburg, Brooklyn. We're here with Perry Stacks, the Perry Stacks. Uh, it's actually, today is our last day in New York. Um, and David, I mean, what you gotta say, man? Thank you for having us in the city, man. Yo, it was always a welcome. Because of them. Because of them. It was great having you guys out here. I'm gonna be sad when you guys go back to Seattle, but I'm gonna definitely visit you guys. Do we? it. Man, there's nothing like summertime in New York City. Yep. Yeah. Feels good, right? Yeah, it feels dope good. event, man. Everybody's I love here. New York. I, I love New York, too. You're gonna miss New York. Yeah. Don't cry right now. Don't cry. He's actually lying. All right. Watch this video right here, watch this video right here, and we're looking forward, and I uh, hope you guys are looking forward to all our videos in Seattle. All right, peace.